How's it going, boys? It's me, your favorite Snake Souls merchant, and today I want to talk about leadership and being the top dog at something. So, this is a very interesting subject because a lot of people get some things wrong, and because they get these things wrong, they actually feel worse about their job, or worse about their position, or worse about their standings. And there are a lot of things uh, when you are in a leadership position, or an upper management position, or in a or the leader of a project that people don't understand and sometimes take the wrong way. And we're going to look at some of the most popular misunderstandings about leadership positions, being essentially the head of a branch or being the head of a project and stuff like that. So, for easy to understand examples, we're going to look towards Amazon. Amazon recently shut down their gaming development part, and investigative journalism said that there were a bunch of problems. Mainly was that the leader of the whole shabazzle that our, our good old billionaire, uh, billionaire friend uh, put in charge of this uh, whole debacle completely ignored advice from people who had long-standing years of experience in the field while he himself had absolutely no experience in the field. And he did other shady things. But we're going to be kind of looking at the things that he did wrong. If you know a little bit about the subject, you have probably heard that people are saying that the biggest problems were the fact that he did not listen to advice and so on and so on. Uh, this is an extremely, extremely popular thing that, get, uh, that people get wrong. Leaders don't have to, uh, to listen to advice. And a lot of times when someone gives a leader advice on something... They think that they are being ignored, while in reality they are not being ignored. This is the part that a lot of people don't understand about leadership in projects, leadership in positions, leadership in all, all kinds of places. So, this is essentially uh, the nux, nux and crannies that some people don't know, especially about leadership. Sometimes, when you are in um, a leadership, uh, leadership position, it's, it will seem for a lot of people that, well, you pretty much have to do nothing. And in some cases, that is actually true. Being a leadership position means that you have an experience in almost all the fields and have a, uh, virtually a good understanding overall about the thing that you are doing. That's why a person gets put in a leadership position. Because they understand the finite chain of things that need to happen for a specific thing to work out. In the car industry, in, I don't know, online marketing, or wherever. As long as a person understands everything that's supposed to happen for a project to uh, come to fruition, that is, a good, that is a potential candidate for leadership positions. Now, we're not going to actually talk about uh, the overall uh, ne necessary traits a leader should have here, but, uh, but just about the, the job entail, because this is where a lot of people get it wrong and sometimes think it's worse than it actually is. So, <clears throat> a leader does not necessarily need to almost do anything by himself in a project. Some people think that uh, in some situations that, you know, the top cheese, the top uh, dog doesn't do anything. And that is completely correct. In some situations... The project leader, the manager, the whatever, the highest position, does not have to do anything. And that is completely normal. Because they are the people who oversee the whole process. The people who know that this is happening, that that is happening, and how everything is moving along. And if everything is moving along smoothly, because the people under him are competent enough... The person in the leadership position doesn't have to do anything, really. And that is completely fine. This is, a, uh, this is one thing that people don't understand uh, in a lot of cases. They think the leadership position should do everything. That is not true. The leadership position does not need to do everything. They need to overlook things and understand when the problem is forming or when something's not being done at the correct pace or when something's missing. That is their primary job. The other big, thi uh, big thing that people overlook is the exact Amazon situation. Uh, that leadership positions do not listen to advice of other people. 
Now, in the Amazon position, that is, uh, from the things we know, there is absolutely no, uh, no, no question about it. It is true. That guy was a complete fucking idiot who should have listened to people, uh, people's advice, but he had his head stuck so far up his ass, he thought that he understands what he's doing. Well, that is not true. But, in a lot of cases, this is the, uh, this is the other thing that happens. People think that their advice is completely ignored and, well, that it's unfair. The reality is like this. And this is an easy way to actually test if you are uh, considered a valuable or, you know, smart employee or whatever if you're not in leadership position. When someone who is not at the chain of command of X gives advice on something on a project, uh, 9 times out of 10, if the project head is competent, he will already have thought about that uh, thing that you are advising on, has already talked to people about the thing that you advised on, and has most likely even maybe moved past that thing because he saw reasons why it's not good or why is it good or has already done it, and you just don't know about it. When something big is happening, when something new is happening, this is essentially what always transpires in pretty much every company without exception. The leader of X, of whatever uh, whatever it is, has people that he talks to and they think about all the options possible. Not every one of the lower ranks is always present in the decision making. No, in a lot of cases people are not present. But when people are more or less semi-present, uh, they can sometimes get this wrongful opinion that their opinions are being ignored because they say something and it's like, meh. That's because in a lot of cases, your opinion has already been talked about in the first day the project has been started. That is the reality what happens a lot and people mistake this a lot. People think that their opinions are completely worthless, but in reality, uh, the leader of the project, the head, the big honcho in the fa fancy hat, has most likely already talked about all these options with the people he trusts, the people he wants to know their opinion of, or someone, uh, someone close to him who is working at the top of the chain has already talked to that person about that thing. So, this is a quite often misunderstanding because of this. Most likely, if you are not uh, pretty high up the chain of the command, and you get the chance to give a suggestion, most likely that suggestion has already been thought of, or is in some kind of action, or is under consideration. This is a thing people hugely get wrong, and then they think that their opinions don't matter. But this is actually a good test for people who are uh, in, lower, uh, in lower positions and are not management. If you are smart enough, chances are... The management will have already seen that, unless the management is completely incapable, but that's a completely different story. If the management is capable enough and they understand that you are capable enough, there are chances that you will be uh, there when some of the talks happen about the things that should be in the project, the things that need to be checked, things, options, and so on and so on. There is a chance that that happens. If you are competent enough and they know about you being competent enough. And if that happens, congratulations. You are, well, you are a good employee. They consider you a good employee. Because again, if you're not considered a good employee, you will never be in that part of the decision making. And while it usually is done with the top executives and so on, sometimes, you know, the minor roles also get a say in this in a part if they are considered worthy and smart enough to actually, you know, give advice on, uh, on said subject matter. So if you have never given advice on a subject matter, well, I'm sad to say this, but you are most likely not seen as uh, the brightest shovel in the tool shit, you know what I mean? But yeah. And this essentially is a huge part of the Amazon gaming problem that I feel that occurred. Because people constantly said, ah, oh, he listened to nothing. Admittedly, in this case, I truly do think he was just an idiot who didn't listen to anything. But in a lot of cases, when something fails and people start yelling, ah, oh, he completely ignored all of that advice and this and that and this and that. It is because people don't actually understand that, well, 
everything they advised had already been under consideration days, weeks, maybe even months ago when this all started. That's a huge thing that people misunderstand. Advice, if it's good advice especially, is not squandered if a person is competent. It's just not squandered most of the time. But, you know, it's not you who always gets to give the advice or is called in to give their opinion on things. But if you're a capable employee, you most likely give advice on some, uh, some matters or things like that. The bosses always go and talk about projects with people who think they have good opinions on X. If, a, if, if the boss thinks that someone has a good opinion on X, trust me, the boss has already talked to that person. Already gotten their opinions, already asked some questions, and already heard some ideas that get offered to him. If, if someone does not care about your opinion, that's just most likely because maybe you're just not good enough. Or your management is complete garbage. One or the other. Usually, sadly, it's the former. So, well, tough luck, buddy. Maybe you're just not the best in the world. Who knows? But yeah... This is a very misunderstood uh, thing that some, well, it happens far too much, honestly. That people think that they are not uh, being treated well, that they are being ignored. While in reality, that person just cannot actually give uh, decent advice. And this is something that may have happened in the Amazon case. Admittedly, I don't think so, but I have a dodgy feeling that that may be a little bit of that. Maybe that person who was leading everything that Bezos uh, that Bezos left it to had everyone just telling uh, everyone constantly giving the same pretty much advice on anything, everything, so he just started more or less ignoring it. You never know. You literally never know. Because, well, if he was even reasonably competent, he most likely asked about the most typical scenarios from the, be uh, the best standing, longest standing higher, uh, pos uh, people in the higher positions. That's most likely what happened. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting thing that sometimes happens. And don't take it the wrong way if your opinion is being ignored. It's not always the case. Well, if it's always being ignored, you're just garbage most likely that's also kind of reality but yeah that's the thing so for everyone whose opinions don't get ignored and who actually get uh, get to be in the uh, debate and uh, debate process well good on you boys you're actually doing fine so this was quizzer since thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already check out the channel check out discord check out the patreon check out everything and have a nice day bye bye